Shalom, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim coming to you from Pretoria, South Africa, bringing you the prophetic news report for this. Well, let's see. For me, it would be the ninth day of May. You're still in the eighth day of May. So uh, I'm a little bit time-wise ahead of you. But, oh, wow, are we seeing the prophecies aligning. I'm telling you, if you have not subscribed to my Facebook, you'll find me, Tim Henderson. Go do it. I'm sharing information there um, that you're going to want to see. And pretty much for the patrons, you get most of that anyway on Patreon. But there are sometimes I put pictures of family and things and and like I woke up early and God gave me Amos 9, 13 to 14. So please, if you get the opportunity, go check that out. But as we see the day approaching and it is approaching, it is amazing what is going on in the world. Well, the Treasury Secretary, now this is for those in the United States, but but it really impacts all of our brethren around the world. Treasury Secretary Jane Yellen says, now we have an issue, the Biden administration, I'm not sure what the cutoff date is, is trying to get Congress to raise the debt ceiling from the $31 trillion, $381 billion. It's, it's unbelievable, the debt that the United States is in America. And as I'm traveling... The nations know it. We are vulnerable at this point. And as I, as I share other news reports, this is serious. I truly believe they're trying to collapse uh, the monetary system. There are, there's BRICS in South, well, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa are working on an alliance to replace the U.S. dollar for, and I believe it's going to be the Chinese yen. China and Russia has already done that with Saudi Arabia with their oil um, trade. It, it, it's, it's, this is unprecedented stuff we're seeing, but it all points to biblical prophecies that we know about. So anyway, Yellen says, no good option if Congress fails to act on the debt. She says calamity will come. She said Biden may do something to bypass Congress because if not, this would create the first ever federal default. It, it's I'm telling you, it's unbelievable what's happening. In other news, Hamas warns Israel ahead of national flag march in the old city through the Muslim quarters. Now, if you've ever been to the old city in Jerusalem, you know, you go through quarters. You have the Muslim quarter. You have the, I think it's uh, the Armenian quarter. And then you have the Jewish quarter. And I've been there a couple times. And they're warning them that if you parade, if you try to Judaize, what they're saying is they're trying to protect. They're saying that Jerusalem is the capital of the Palestinians and not the capital of the Jewish people. Particularly where the Al-Aqsa Mosque is. So there's a lot of tension there. They're warning ahead of time. Russia launches an air attack on Ukraine ahead of a key holiday. They're also very concerned, Russia, um, warning about a nuclear plant near that area of Moscow as Vladimir Putin prepares to go public on their holiday. All these things are adding up based on the drone attacks from the Ukraine near the Kremlin. This, for those, that, for anyone anywhere, because it impacts the world, Kamala Harris, or Kamala, I, I can never remember, I, and I'm not doing it to be rude, I just, I don't know what my block is, but I, I can never quite remember. And I don't want to disrespect her by not saying her name right. So, um, but the, you know, how I feel about this administration, but the acting vice president, 
many view her as the vice president, but I, I think they're illegitimate. But anyway, I'm going to say VP Harris, so that I don't butcher her name anymore, to run AI task force. This is artificial intelligence. So the White House has announced that the vice president will lead a task force regarding artificial intelligence with key companies that lead in the industry. Do I need to tell you guys, she was also supposed to take care of the border control issue in the United States of America. We have such a fentanyl problem, a border crisis going on. It's unbelievable. And now they're going to put her in charge of artificial intelligence. Well, for those of us who are believers, even so, come Lord Jesus. China, Russia, North Korea, and Iran are all investing in ways to nuke America. No surprise there. And we are we are vulnerable. You know, I often think about it. Jesus said, watch the fig tree. That's Israel. Prophetically, watch it. And watch the other trees, the other nations of prophecy. I'm telling you, we are... We are seeing these end time events happen before our very eyes. And then the Arab League votes to immediately readmit Syria after 12 years absence from the Arab League. Of course, the Pentagon, the U.S. is coming out against that. Remember everything that happened with the refugee situation. And But honestly, if you don't know by now that Putin is really calling the shots... And Iran is in close alliance with him in Syria. Those nations of prophecy that Ezekiel talked about in 38 and 39 are there and ready to come down. On Israel, and I believe in the Golan Heights, I believe the hook in the jaw that God's going to use is going to be they're coming for the spoils of war. Well, that's it for your prophetic news report for today. God bless you guys. Know he loves you fiercely and passionately. I love you too. Thank you. Please continue to pray. Um, it's been wonderful, long days, but wonderful days. And I just can't sleep. My time clock is off. But I've been spending that time in the word and in prayer. So it's all good. Shalom, shalom. And have an awesome rest of your day.